Magic. Hello everybody, welcome to Farming Simulator. Today I got a lot of requests on my TikTok for, uh, as you can see, well, let's just get down to brass tacks here. As you can see, I have a pretty gnarly motocross track built here. <laughs> that I jump the Mustang. Interesting choice, but I'm gonna jump the Mustang for you guys. So we're going to pick up uh, a new trailer. Don't mind it, uh, everything's a little messy at the moment because we've been building these tracks and trying to, you know, do our logging at the same time. So stuff's a little jumbled, don't mind uh, all that. We're gonna get a pick up eventually. So I hope this trailer's long enough. I just wanted a little small trailer and just haul one car. Totally just went through my tailgate there, but okay, that, that's fine. That is totally fine. It's always hard to find um, which button to press, but if you guys like my Chevy here, it's my baby. I know it's not a Chevy, but I'm calling it a Chevy because it looks like a Chevy. I forgot to drop this, but yeah, I definitely think this trailer is going to be good enough. I don't know if you can flip these by hand. Yeah, no, you can't. Or in the Mustang right there. We don't want to be in the Mustang. We want to be here, select so like our trailer, unfold, low loader. Let's pull forward a little bit. Need some room. 
Now, I'm not actually going to build a track right now for you guys. I'm just going to build a quick jump. We're going to try and go for some distance. Maybe get some cars in between this jump to jump over. I know that was one request, too. And it, it, it'd be nice. Oh, crappy. Oh, it'd be difficult to load the Mustang onto this. Uh, I should have got a dovetail. It's okay. We got it. We're good. All right, everybody, we are back. I adjusted the audio a little bit. I hope that helps. I know it was probably a little bit low. You know, it's like one in the morning. I'm trying not to be too loud. We're gonna find a location. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, keep on carrying on. Uh, let's make a left right up here. I'm sure there's a open field or something we can make a jump in. Now, when it comes to making jumps on this, I know I posted on TikTok and said that I used the bulldozer. But that was, some people took that like seriously um that was just a joke it was just a joke um just a, so somebody doesn't like buy a bulldozer and like go all out like trying to you know anger themselves on why they can't build the track but anyway so i use well first we're going to click the little button right down here to the bottom to the left below the home button i'm not actually sure what it's called but you're going to scroll it's kind of like the select button, I guess you could say. But we're going to scroll over here to the very right with your right bumper, and you can see it says Start Landscaping. Now, just keep in mind, remember this, because we're going to find where we want to build this jump, and then we're going to come back to this. This Mustang, man, this, this thing is just, it's not behaving. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, uh, we'll deal with that in a minute. Mm-hmm. Well, as you guys can see, we've already got a little something built here. <laughs> so you guys should definitely hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see some more action with these jumps we're building and the motocross tracks. Um, eventually, whenever I get all this stuff built, I'm going to actually upload this track, upload this uh, map, so other people can play it. I think that would be pretty, pretty sick. So you other people playing my, uh, playing my jumps and stuff. We need some ramps. We're just gonna back off here. It's barely on there anyway. Okay, so I think. We should definitely like just make a jump going straight this way. So we're gonna go into landscaping. Now first I wanna make our runway here, so we're gonna just do some painting. Ground type, that's good enough. It's really hard to stay straight, I will tell you that. It's really hard. It's like never wants to just remain straight. And it's it's aggravating at times, but Ooh, I don't really want to take out this. Ooh, I just kind of f***ed that up. But maybe I can make this a landing. Maybe that's what we'll do. I doubt it. There's trees in the way. Um, but let's see. This is honestly the biggest run-up we should need. So here's where this... You're going to switch over here, press on your left analog, and go to sculpting. Kind of zoom in here, get a good look. Make sure you make this as wide as you want your jump. This is just a basic way I'm going to teach you guys how to make a jump. And because the other way that I do it's a little complicated. Other people have tried it and they've not been successful. But if you guys would like a tutorial on how to make more of a super cross layout and do more of a tight layout, let me know. But this is how you're going to make more of a motocross style jump. Actually, we have a big run up way back. No, we don't actually. Never mind. Can't scratch that guy. Scratch that. So this is, is the Mustang though. It's not going to take too long to get up to speed. So let's just find out how far we are away from the edge here. Okay, perfect. So now we're just gonna make this go up. Just hit A, 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 hold A, hold A, as high as you want it, as high as you want it. And I know, I know, it just looks like a brick right now. It's, that's okay, that's what you want. So you're literally just gonna go to the right once. You see that? You see how you got that one extra space right there? And you're gonna hit X to go down and get that jump just the right pitch that you want for the takeoff, which yeah, it's pretty fair. Go another click. Just make sure it stays smooth. It's buttery. It's not choppy. You can see I'm forming it as I make as I go down. And you want a nice even transition. That is the most important thing is the transition has to be perfect. But then you can take this Y button Make sure you smooth, smooth, smooth. Be really careful. I'm actually going to leave that alone because usually if you try and smooth, like, smooth this right here, I'll give you an example of what could happen. So we're going to say we got a little jump here. It's going to make a little tiny guy. It's going to have to be perfect. So I'm going to go over this. I'm going to try and smooth it just to make it round, right? 
but you see it's going to make it all uneven so if you try and hit that on like a side by side or a quad it's it's not going to work for you <laughs> it's just not so now to find out where the landing is going to be lucky for us on farming simulator you can see your tracks <laughs> it's easy if you have a buddy in here and you just watch him hit it you can see kind of what pitch he's going at we're going to give ourselves let's, let's actually start out on the dirt and see how far that's going to send us we'll start right here Let's see, we're just going to set this cruise control to literally 149 and take off and see what happens. Alright, here we go. Climbing in speed. I don't uh, how fast will we get it? I'm going to guess about 50. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful flight path. Sort of. Alright, so now we have to make a landing to compensate for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in the scan this landscaping and try and stay in a straight line all the way from this. So that was kind of a nosedive. So we're going to make kind of a long landing to give our uh, Mustang some room to, you know, make up for this landing. You want to make it about even, you know, just eyeball it. It's fine. It doesn't really matter that much. Just enough to have a good landing. Now I'm going to leave that part a little bit bigger so, you know, landing jumps have a little bit more of a table landing on the top sometimes. What I'm gonna do is just do the same thing. And just smooth. Just see this one as smooth as possible. The smoother the better. I don't know if this is, I think I'm on a slope, so I don't think this is flat, but we'll see. There's a little bit more uh, like landings are a little bit more forgiving when it comes to like the shape of them. Because that's just what you're landing on. Like, you know, whenever you take off, you want it to be flat. Because that's you know, you gotta get your trajectory. I usually smooth everything out and just try not to over smooth, but make everything look decently real. Usually if you switch the circle by tapping the right analog, it's a little bit more precise. You can really dial in those areas. Look, there we go. That's a pretty decent looking jump if I do say so myself. We're going to try and clear it. I think I might have made that landing a little short. But you always want to start just a little bit short and just extend it until you find that perfect fit. Come back right to here again. And we're just gonna set that cruise control because honestly, cruise control is the fastest way to get your speed going, and it just maintains it a lot better than if you're holding on the gas for some reason. I'm not sure why it works that way, but enjoy, guys. Here go. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna send it. Ooh, is it gonna be perfect? Okay, we overshot. See, but that's okay. That's what we want to do. We got a trial by error. Well, trial and error. Trial and error. There we go. So what you're going to do, you're going to go get your square here. Make it the same width it was before. You can usually tell if it's the same width just by looking at it like this. Get it lined up. Alright, so that was definitely way too short. So what we're going to do is, instead of just taking that out, we're going to use that to make more of a round landing. Make it look better. We're going to make kind of a tall one start going down and then you want to kind of just gradually just make that baby work for you work her in nice and even smooth path if we're lucky maybe we'll get a jump off this cliff and we'll land and I can make a landing down there to even so let's see maybe we can do that maybe we can make that happen what is in front of us though that is the question Okay, that is a definite no-go, ladies and gentlemen. We have a gas station in front of us. We're gonna see, grab that Y button, smooth this up, make sure everything's nice and smooth. Because you don't want it looking like doo-doo, do you? No, you want your jumps to look good. You want them to look clean. Look at that. If we clear this in this Mustang, that's gonna be insane. But yeah, guys, this is, this is literally it. This is how you make the <laughs> motocross jumps. In farming simulator and smash that like button hit subscribe come on jo join me for some more videos i would love to have you guys drop a comment below you know let me know what you think of the jumps look at oh perfect perfect everybody send it into the crowd